Kanye's back, I'm back, let's talk some vultures too. The release date has been confirmed, and no, this isn't no yapping about nothing, this is some hard cold information about Ye from Ye. Straight from the titanium grills, so let's get straight into it. First, let's rip a recap though, because a lot has happened over the last week, but like it also hasn't. The rollout has been kind of dead. The biggest thing that has happened within the last few weeks is definitely Ye just inserting himself into the rap civil war that is going on right now with Drake, Kendrick, Cole, Future, Metro. Now the weekend too. And of course, Ye, literally everyone, and I'm sure you guys know all about it. But not only did Ye insert himself by saying that if you listen to J. Cole, you get absolutely absolutely no poon, he also dropped a full diss track on Drake, and before we get deeper into the date, beef, subscribe and like to support my channel, thanks. But yeah, this is all old news, let's talk about Vultures 2, the date, because like I said, Ye confirmed the release date himself. There's a lot of news coming out of this Justin LeBoy interview that was dropped on Yeezy.com recently, so roll the clip. Is it coming out? It's coming out May 3rd. May 3rd, for yeah. sure, stamp. Yeah. There you have it. Yeah, so it seems pretty set in stone for this date. It kind of completely killed Ye's mood, which is a little worrying that he really just don't care about music at all anymore. And I know in the past, we have seen a lot, literally for almost every single one of his albums, there have been pump fake releases. And we already had our first one with Vultures 2. Ye just edges us till we explode. Pause. But I think this time it actually might be for real because we are seeing this interview be promoted by Ye. Possible listening parties before this date as well. So May 3rd honestly seems like a lock. And once the media gets going again, I think it will be okay for Vultures too. Kanye obviously loves to do these things very unorthodox, so it won't be a surprise if this drop is really weird because it definitely has been so far. But I think with the release of the Like That remix, it's kind of starting the real rollout for Vultures too. I don't think it was ever planned for that original date. But this remix is definitely going to get people talking, and it did just get taken down on YouTube, but it's still on the Yeezy website, so we'll see what happens with that. I don't think it will ever come to streaming services and we'll get onto that later. And besides, going back to Vultures 2 and the original release date, it was way too soon anyway for him to drop that before. It would just have cast a giant shadow over one and I think it would have made everyone forget about one and it would have just been bad and rushed. But yeah, I think this date could totally be a lock like I said and Ye hopefully isn't capping for once, please. <laughs> but off the topic of the date, some other information we got from this interview was that Ye really does not fuck with J. Cole. He says he hasn't even listened to False Idols, the song where J. Cole disses Kanye, and he also doesn't mess with streamers like Kai Sinat. He thinks they are all, and I quote, mind control people, and that they are all pawns. Along with this, Kanye has pretty much revealed that he hasn't been really listening to music either, and that he has just been focusing on making money. Which makes sense considering that I ordered my Yeezy pods two months ago and I'm literally going to move to a new location, a new house before they get here. Some random ass people are about to get free Yeezy pods. Shit's unreal, but I guess that's just Kanye, bro. Along with this, it was also revealed in this interview that Lil Durk has chosen a side in the rap civil war as well, and it seems like he is turning on Chicago, choosing Drake over Kanye. Apparently, on an unreleased song, he talks about using a Yeezy short as a doormat, and Ye also talks about how he said that he's gonna give his Yeezy hat to his bitch. And Kanye said that he says that four times, so that relationship is probably cooked, at least for now until we hear more about it. Besides that, this interview really did not give us any good info on music or fashion besides that one clip that I showed you guys before. And I'm not going to downplay that. That was some huge information we got. That's why I said in the beginning there was some good information out of this, but it just wasn't a lot. It was a lot more chill and that makes sense since they are friends and this probably was meant to show off more of a human side of Ye and not just ask the juicy music robot questions. And I guarantee you guys we will see more info in the next few weeks before this totally real album drop right guys I think the biggest thing we can see from all of this and honestly the biggest question we can ask outside of the interview is if Vultures 2 will be on DSPs like Spotify, Apple Music, and Tidal and we won't have to buy it for $20 on Yeezy.com this has been getting talked about for a minute especially by Kanye and the answer is 
Yeah, we still have no idea. Nothing has been said so far, but we know that Ye feels very passionately about not releasing this on streaming because of the artist payout from these streaming platforms, which is honestly very, very low, but Kanye has billions of dollars, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm being selfish, but I just want some good music. So yeah, kind of off topic for this video, but I did feel like I had to talk about it with the remix not being on streaming platforms, at least for a little bit. I think everything about this whole video and all of the info covered today is everything about Ye. Take it with a grain of salt, which sucks to hear and it sucks to tell you guys that we we finally have like an actual interview, but we still have to take it with a grain of salt because it's Kanye. But I think something maybe big or small could definitely come out of all of this. We're officially out of this dry rollout season. Ye is happy and shit is about to get real again. Yeah, so that's everything for today to the OTN community. I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but I've been locking in IRL. I got some huge stuff, but don't worry. I'm officially back. It has been a minute, but like I said, we're locked in again. Don't worry. I missed you guys. I'm happy to be back. If you want to watch the full interview, links will be in the description. It's about an hour long. That's kind of why I made this video just to sum everything up. Subscribe and like if you enjoy the videos and want to see more. Follow on all platforms. All of those links will be in the description. And join my Discord, the best music community on the internet. Like I said, links in the description. Thanks again for watching. And on that note,